So in this video, um, I will show you how to view the online album, including photographs from your trip, as well as the process for selecting and downloading the images to fulfill the photo package that you uh, purchased ahead of time. And so when the images are ready, you'll receive an email from me that looks uh, similar to this one. I just did a sample album here for the purposes of this. It will include some key information. I'll just touch on them really quick and then we'll get into the example, but it will confirm which photo package you uh, ordered ahead of time. In this case, I just did a five photo package for the purpose of this example. So we'll confirm that. It will also provide you a coupon code, which is specific to you and your order, and you will apply it at checkout, and that will then credit you for the package. So. There will be no balance due here. All you're doing is redeeming the order that you already purchased. So that coupon code is important for checkout. And it will provide you the link to the album as well as the password to get into the album. So the password here is sample in this example. It'll be different for you, but for this purpose, the password is in all capital letters and it's the word sample. So just be sure, I usually use all caps, so just be sure that your caps lock is on when you put the password into the password prompt. So let's go ahead and go into the album by clicking view photos. And you can either copy and paste the password in or you can type it in. So if I want to copy it, I can just highlight it and on my, I use a Windows computer, Control C is the keystroke to copy it. And then at the password prompt, Control V to paste it. Or again, you just type it in yourself as long as your caps lock is on. Then you'll click enter, which takes us into the album. And you can either click this open button, which will scoot you down to the pictures in the first folder, or you can use your scroll bar on the right and just scroll. So, couple things to point out, this is in grid form. You can also enlarge the images just by clicking on them so you can look at them larger and navigate with the arrows on the left and the right of the image. Okay, you can um, navigate back to grid view just by clicking the uh, back arrow within the album. Don't click the back on your browser, just the back button within the album up here in the top left. So that's how you get back to grid view. This particular example, I just included two different folders up here at the top left. You'll see that next to the album name, folder one and folder two. These are generic names for your trip. They will be specific to either the site you saw or the event that it was or something like that. And there will be folder names all across the top here until you can't see them anymore and then it'll have a drop down box that says more and you just click that and you can scroll through them. So there's a couple different ways to get from one folder to the next. You can just click on them, literally the names of them, and it takes you to that folder directly. Uh, you can also scroll to the bottom of one of the the folders and once all the image ha images have populated it'll have this view more button you can also do that and it just advances you to the next folder so pretty simple uh, navigation so the thing that you're going to need to do here is select your favorite images the ones that you want to fulfill the package quantity that you ordered so in this example it's five photos so the person would need to select five images as their favorite how do we do that? So there's a couple different ways, but easiest is uh, here on the, I'm just using the first image in this folder at the top left here. If you hover, just your put your mouse on it, you'll see down here an icon in the bottom right of the image that's a heart, and you can click that. And the very first time you do that, it prompts you for your email address. Um, one of the key things is if you had to come back to this later, like you worked on it a little bit, you need to go run an errand or something, you need to pull it back up later, that's fine, you can do that and you will just insert your email address and it will bring you back to kind of where you started uh, or where you left off. And I'll show you more specifically how to do that, but it also 
ties all of the images that you're about to select after this as well to your email address so that I know all the ones you've selected and that you want. Uh, it's also the email address that I will uh, use to send you the download link to your computer. So you would put in your email address and just click sign in. So in the instance, like if you needed to close it, the album altogether, shut down your computer and come back later, that's fine. The way that you would then get back to your favorites is you would go, you go back to your email, click on the view photos, log in with the password. Okay, then it would come up here at the top right. Uh, you'll see like print store and then a cart and then a heart. The heart will at that point wouldn't have a green dot next to it. It would just be blank, but you would click it it would prompt you for your email, you put the email in, and then it allows you to pick up where you left off, selecting favorites. So pretty simple. So you can select favorites uh, this way, and in this case, for this order, I would be selecting five of my favorite images out of everything to fulfill the order. And in order to know what quantity you are at is you can click the the heart at the top right over here that has the green dot just click on that and it will take you to your folder of favorites and and here it says it's there's five photos in it so if I click on it it'll show me which five and I can remove so if I change my mind on one I can remove it and uh, just by clicking on if you hover over it at the bottom right the solid white heart you would click that and then select remove. So I'm on the one with the, um, the people praying at the Western wall over here. So I'll click remove. Okay, so then it would show me that now I'm at four photos, right? And I can see which four. So if I wanna navigate back to the album so I can add another one, just use the back arrow uh, within the album. Again, not the browser back, but just the, the back arrow within the album. Click it twice to get back to the main Thing here and so at that point I can add back another one so I'm gonna just add them back in and uh, you can also select uh, your like if you're on the large view the enlarged view you can see at the top right there's also that heart there so if you were in this view you can select favorites that way as well you can also just click it again in this view and it removes it and it's giving you some little pop-ups down here that are telling you you've added a favorite or you removed one so I'll just navigate back so I should be at five favorites yeah so once I've I'm comfortable and happy with the pictures that I have selected and I have reached the quantity of the package that I ordered at that point you are ready to redeem your package with the coupon code so you will click on up here at the top right you'll see words the print store it's it says print store up here at the right so it always brings this little drop down but i i just click the words print store so click that it shows you the different packages and in this example they pre-purchased five so we're going to click on the five photos package it will give you some information about the download, the coupon code, the uh, printing permissions and, and things that are prohibited. And then you would add to your cart. Don't worry about the price point, that's gonna get wiped out. So this is your shopping cart. You're gonna proceed to checkout. And so at this point, there under uh, order summary over here, it shows that the total due is $40, but we're going to apply our coupon. There's a little star and then the words apply coupon. Click that, and then you can go back to your email that has your coupon code in it. And you can either copy and paste it, or you can hand type it in either way. Click Apply. Now your total is zero, which is what we want. The rest of this is procedural. You will type in your name, your email, and your address. I'm not shipping you anything physical. Again, this is just the system requires it uh, to get to the end of the, the order here. So 
you don't have to put in your uh, phone number. It's not critical, or it's not required. So you would click next at this point. Again, don't worry about this. I'm not shipping you anything physical, so it's we're clicking next. And at this point, you should see this notification that says no payment required for this order. It's important that it says that and that it shows a zero balance because you don't owe anything. You're simply redeeming your order. So if for any reason it's telling you that there's a, a payment due, then that's an indication to go back, check, make sure you've applied your coupon code. So at that point, you will place your order. You just click place order at the bottom right. It says, um, okay, thank you for your order. It gives you your order number. And then at that point, you're gonna wait to receive um, an email from me that will give you a link to download those pictures that you just selected. So it'll look like this. It'll say download ready, and it has a, a link here that says download photos. One thing to note is the download link will expire after seven days. So just you know, be sure to process the download within that time frame. Otherwise, it requires you having to send me an email and then I have to go back in and uh, create like a new download link. So it's just steps that we don't really need to go through. So if you can just try to try your best to do it within seven days, that's much appreciated. So you'll click uh, download photos and it will take you to this landing page. And it says here, click the link below to start the download. So this is a zip file, you'll just click on it and it begins to automatically download to your computer. At that point, like on mine, it shows at the bottom left of the screen once it's completed. Um, so it shows this little zipper file and I just click on that and it opens up this window that shows you the five JPEGs that I selected as my favorites. And so at that point, I always suggest, because this is a zip file that downloads, it typically goes to a downloads folder, as you can kind of see over here, um, in your computer. But sometimes people have rules set up to dump stuff in your downloads folder or whatever, or you'll forget that it's there. So I always just suggest to highlight the JPEG files and copy them into a folder on your computer where you will remember where they are. <laughs> so name it, you know, a folder, like the name of your trip or something and just paste them in there. And then I also suggest to do a backup of it in case for any reason your computer in the future decides to crash. It's happened on a rare occasion, but it has happened. So I just tell people, put them on a flash drive or something as well as a backup. And so at that point, you're all finished. You have received your photos to fulfill your order and you can enjoy them. Um, and share them with your friends. So if you have any questions or any trouble, obviously you can always email me. So thank you so much. Enjoy.